This is an RTL SDR dongle with an E4000 tuner in it. I'm going to calibrate the signal levels to get correct uh, indications in dBm in Linrod using this dongle. I will do the calibration in FM mode, so I press E. And the antenna here has an amplifier and a filter to protect the dongle from other things than the FM band. I click a signal. Klockan ett, Ekonyheter. I Gävle har en lågstadie elev som skulle vaccinerats mot mässling och sorg, det skriver Svenska Dagen. So the purpose now of this exercise is to calibrate in dBm. I take the S meter which is now a bar graph and grab it like this and like that. And now uh, you can see it goes from S0 to S9 plus 270. That's not really reasonable but that's what it happened. I want to see now uh, signal levels in dBm, so I click S here and then it says dB, and now it says dBm. This box up here it says RMS average, that's M. Here is the peak level, it's the same as the uh, RMS value for a strong signal, but for a weak signal, like here, it's a difference between RMS and peak levels. So I want to calibrate the RMS and I need something to calibrate from. I could use a signal generator but assume we don't have one I can calibrate without. To do that uh, I will connect a dummy load to the input of the dongle. So here is a 50 ohm uh, termination, actually 49.9 is my reference load and that's the impedance on 144 megahertz but it's very close to 50 ohms. So we know that the power coming out from that resistor is minus 174 dBm for each hertz of bandwidth. Now, uh, the E4000 dongle has typically a noise figure of 8 dB. Uh, that is with maximum gain. So I click here to set the dongle to maximum gain. That is 25 in the inrad. Then uh, I click somewhere here and set the bandwidth to uh, let's say 100 kilohertz and there are several ways of doing that more or less accurately. Uh, we don't need a very high accuracy so I can go here and just like that and then to see better here well three fifty to four fifty now the bandwidth is close to 100 kilohertz that is 100,000 times 1 hertz uh, that's 50 decibels so the signal level should now be uh, minus 124 dBm if the noise figure had been zero
on this dongle uh, but it is about 8 so I have to uh, add 8 to minus 124 which means my minus 116 so I want this to show minus 116 dBm this meter now reads minus 60 so uh, there is an error of 56 dB so I put 56 here and now it reads minus 116 uh, or thereabouts I can check that by expanding the scale like this and this is accurate enough given the uncertainty in uh, the noise figure of the dongle that I use for this calibration you can also see that the noise floor is not absolutely flat if I click here near the center I get much more noise but uh, the noise figure is not so good here so uh, the calibration on the level is probably reasonably accurate to check I switch on a signal generator and uh, see how far from the reading of the signal generator this calibration has come the signal generator is now set to 91.6 megahertz and minus 90 dBm and let's click on 91.6 that's here and read the db scale well it says minus 90 dbm so this calibration is as accurate as your knowledge of the noise figure of your receiver and if you turn it the other way around, if you have a calibrated signal generator, uh, you can measure the noise figure of your receiver this way. Now in Linrad, if you change the gain of the dongle, the levels will change. Uh, to listen to the FM band it's reasonable to have a gain level of zero here uh, that's because I have a amplifier between the antenna and the dongle and also a filter so I reduce this gain to zero and it goes with 5 dB steps or roughly 5 dB steps I now get a reading of minus 113 or so which is wrong by 23 db so I have to add 23 db here that means 79 or I had to subtract uh, I don't remember anymore but I want 90 so that is let's put 0 here and now I can easier see I want 90 I have 57 67 77 8 that's 33 dB And here we are. Now uh, Linrod is calibrated again uh, and I can connect the antenna.
and listen to a strong signal like this one. It has no interesting modulation this time of the day. Uh, but we can see the level is minus 54 dBm. Now that is with the amplifier and filter, but it's also a very poor antenna. And we can see some other station here. So this is a dB meter and it's pretty accurate now. And of course, if I change the bandwidth, the level will not change much. Until I have a big enough bandwidth to come into the next signal, this one. If I look at that signal, you can see that the bandwidth doesn't affect the signal level unless I make it very narrow. But if I look at the noise floor, let's find a free frequency. Well, here, this is just noise. Here the level is proportional to the bandwidth. If I decrease the bandwidth, the level goes down. 